Hey, they said I was crazy. No, they really didn't, but hey. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Zayden, and you're at Reap What You Sow Gardening. In this video, I'm going to be showing you and telling you why it's a genius idea to grow in these bucket things. Let's do this. So, number one. This is asparagus that's in here, and no, it's not a Charlie Brown Christmas tree that fell off. This is a asparagus plant that I planted on Valentine's Day, and ever since, it's growing perfectly. So, this container is made from United Plastics Company, and I got this from my grandma's house a while ago. I did make a video last year with a different phone of this thing and it used to have pumpkins in it. Yeah, so this is a really good thing to do. I even drilled holes in the bottom. You see that holes? That's for storage. Not storage, drainage. So those holes on the bottom are for water so they can safely drain out so it doesn't become stagnant and create root rot. Another way to garden in containers is you can take old water jugs Hacksaw the top off, or saw the, saws all the top off, put soil and everything, compost, I heard it's good for growing zucchini, drill holes in the bottom, you don't, even though it's a water tank, you're probably going to say, well, water belongs in there, right? Yes, and no, you don't want too much, you never want water stagnant in gardens, so, you can also use these. I also use these black containers, which are from Mainstays. I bought them at Gabe's. I don't know why they were at Gabe's. I think Mainstays is owned by Walmart, but who cares, <laughs> right? These are five bucks each. And this one is gonna have grapes in it. Right now it has little weeds in it, but I'm gonna leave the weeds just so they grow and then I'll kind of mulch them into this bed. So, our grape trellis is over here and we have, we're gonna get grape plants in this one. So this is a black tub that you can use. So, the reason why it's so amazing is because you don't need to get a hundred dollar raised beds. Just get those buckets for five bucks or maybe 20 or 15. You're not blowing your whole mortgage on it. And it's, you know, self-sufficient, it's economical, and it actually looks good in the garden. So, my choice is to use those as well. I still do in ground, I'm never gonna stop doing because we want to experiment with stuff, see what the best, you know, method of growing is, so we can always grow our own food. Because everyone, and I think you will agree with me, everyone wants a little bit of food in these times because of Mr. Creepy Joe. And he's walking around falling all the time, falling up airplanes. So here is my plum tree, my Oxheart plum tree. It's inside of... This container, which was for five bucks at um, Gabe's, and all I did is put soil and everything in it. It's doing perfect. Let me show you the one that's in the greenhouse as well. And here is in the greenhouse. So we have pineapples and papayas in this. It's doing perfect and wonderful. They're growing really good. I put compost, dead leaves, soil, and peat moss, and they're doing perfect. So yeah, those are the reasons why you don't want to waste money on just metal garden beds. Do it for five. Do it for ten. Twenty or thirty. Buy it to your heart's content. Is that how the saying goes? So as always, I hope you enjoyed this garden hack video. If you did, give it a nice life hack thumbs up. Share this video around. Please consider subscribing to my channel because it helps me heaps and I appreciate your help so much. Thanks for watching and keep on sewing.